Where did your sense of curiosity, could you know where it came from? Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, I think I just have been interested in consciousness and I've been interested in our self-awareness and I've been interested in sort of deconstructing where that comes from. I remember reading a book in college called The Denial of Death by Ernest Becker. It was a Pulitzer Prize winning book cited actually by Woody Allen and Annie Hall as a book to explain his view of life. And the idea behind the book was that humans are unique in the animal kingdom because we are aware of our mortality. Um, not just the immediate danger that might surround us like another animal, but oh, one day in the future. The only animal knows it's gonna die. Correct, yeah. correct. And sort of that explicit awareness causes all kinds of anxiety and neurosis. The source of our angst, the fire in our belly comes from this terror and fear. And when I read that, it just spoke so deeply to me and I feel like it fuels all my work and my creativity. Sure, so. we know we're gonna die. Yeah. Do you think about death? Yeah, definitely. You afraid I, of it? I'm prof profoundly haunted by the whole concept of death. Are you death. afraid of it? Definitely. Me too. Yeah, oh, well, we should have that in common. I don't believe people who say they're not. Me either. What I think is that they've developed highly sophisticated symbolic systems that provide a narrative that is psychologically comforting. So I think if you, just like they say the dream is real when you're in it, mm -hmm. if you are fully invested in the virtual reality, which is what it is, of your religion, or a cultural belief system that provides a narrative of an afterlife, whether it's you become one with the universe or you live forever in the kingdom of God, if you're invested in that construct, then bless you because it works for you and it takes away the angst. And, you know, we'll never know what happens on the other side anyway. But I think for some of us who continue to probe and ask questions and we're never satisfied with these na narratives, we, we, I seek to poke holes in those narratives, um, we end up right back with that existential angst. I always ask, what does it all mean? Yeah, what does it all mean? Do you mean? have the answer to that? <laughs> to have emerged from nothing, to have a name, consciousness of self, deep inner feeling, an excruciating inner yearning for life and self-expression, said Ernest Becker, and with all this, yet to die. That's a bummer. That's an existential Damn right. bummer. <laughs> I wanted to be frozen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, you think we're gonna extend, I've had others tell me that my grandchildren will live to 150. Yeah, well, there's a lot of very smart people in Silicon Valley. For example, Larry Page, co-founder of Google. They recently started Calico, California Life Extension Company, a software company for biology. These guys in Silicon Valley are invested in the fact that biotechnology, transformative technologies that turn biology into a programmable medium, like software, means that we're only a couple of years away from being able to reprogram ourselves. What that means is turning off genes that promote cancer, turning on genes that promote longevity. So we'll live longer. We'll live potentially indefinitely. There's a concept known as escape velocity put out there by a futurist Aubrey de Grey, which says that when we reach the point that we can molecularly repair ourselves at the same rate that we decay, that's escape velocity, because then as our bodies decay, we can repair them in real time and essentially keep ourselves alive. What are we gonna do with all the people in the world? Well, I don't there's, care, as long as I'm one of them. I think that these, yes, these, uh, these longevity technologies will be coupled with other transformative technologies that will make the concept of scarcity obsolete. So we're gonna stop aging. Yeah, we'll stop aging and we'll take care of everyone's needs in the world. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.